Hello, hello. Now, well, let's cancel that. I had to mute the music so, you know, so I won't get in trouble with anybody. But I have not played. I haven't played almost, almost two months. It's been a minute. So I might embarrass myself. Because I don't know what, you know, everybody doing now. So, uh, it's going to be tough. We'll see what happens, though. But, in a way, if you don't know me, I'm Chester Beeman, the reason to win. I haven't played with no other team since 2001 but Washington football team. I'm going to say the other thing. So let's put some music in here. All right, here we go. Of course, you know, everybody's picking, you know, those top-notch teams and stuff like that. But... It's all good. Cause I'm gonna do my thing. Now the big leg of we'll Matt Prater ready to get this one started, and this one is underway here on EA Sports. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Let's keep it honest. I haven't, you know, ran no, did no routes or anything like that. So I'm trying to keep it honest. Get some runs in unless I see something I like. Nice little run. Managed to pick up about four. It's second down. Good run. All that hitting and hollering. It was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. Ah, I should stay outside. That's when you start to feel good about He liked to. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. I see he like to keep his people out. Let's see what happens if I do this. Ah, that's not the play. That is not the play. That one. Here's Heineke. Oh my lord. This dude ran the rap for him. He's That's crazy. That's crazy. He ran the route for him. He had him turned around and everything. Not quite sure what just happened. And they're not letting um, Collins play linebacker. I don't like that. Going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Come on now. Let's here. Yeah, he do a lot of uh, option routes. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. What? Toss that bad boy deep. Right. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Back to the ground on first down, Edmonds. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First down, Murray. He'll swing that out to Edmonds. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Throwing again on second down. Murray being chased out left. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Damn. Oh, I knew that was coming. I had those quarterback spy and everything for him. 
Prater for the extra point. And so that makes the score seven down. Yeah, take the time. Take the time. Just take what the defense is going to give you. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Ugh. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up under pressure. Oh, my God. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of oh coaches, gosh. and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Now, after the sack, Heineke and the Washington offense going to face a tough third and long. Now, on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Heineke on first down. Steps away to his left. And that one is incomplete. And it also <laughs> concludes quarter number one. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. A second down throw for Heineke. Forced out to his left. Taking a shot for Come on. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third down, Heineke. What? Something wrong with this thing. Something wrong with it. But he continues, Charles, to Something's wrong with it because I'm letting that ball go. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, no, we're they've going got on. to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Now Heineke on fourth down. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. First down, Heineke. And incomplete on the deep ball. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. Buying time to his left. Off to Thomas on the left side. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now Heineke. Dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now a first and ten at the 11. Heineke to throw it. Oh my God. The end zone, but it's incomplete. Mm. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Thank you. 
They'll run with Gibson. First down. He'll be taken down, but he down. does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Try to run with Gibson, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown! That's your turn, man. Everybody Antonio just take the Gibson. turn. Fine work there on the touchdown run, and Washington now an extra point away from tying take this turn, thing baby. up. I'm getting. I almost missed a kick. I'm getting it back just a little bit. I just made some. I made some mistakes earlier. That interception was crazy. Should never so have. I'll leave it at seven now as they but we'll see. Away. I got to be able to stop um, this offense. And we got Moore three timeouts. On this one and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. I'm going to I'm make a race right quick. I'm sending everybody in. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they that's were right. eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Murray going to throw. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Three yards the game there, second down. From the gun, Murray escaping the pressure right. Looking deep for his tight yeah. end Ertz. And oh, it'll be intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30. I'm talking about, guys. You know these mistakes going to come soon. Improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, he wound up in the wrong pair of hands. Ooh, Brandon, when you're on the I'm run, feeling Samuels right now. You see. The vision could get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers there you go baby and complete and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. it'll go as an impressive 31 yard gain heineke let's he go that's what i'm talking about baby Zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's another first down as they I'm talking about. He's gonna take his man over now. So I'm gonna hit seals the right there in the middle. The See what happens. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Mm. And the flag comes in as that one falls in. Interference. Well, let's see we'll take that. So a PI call gonna cost we'll take that. We'll take that. What we'll take that. Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. But by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. Woo! Touchdown, Let's go! Let's go! As the first half is winding down. Hey, I take that one-on-one -on -one with Tony Gibson every time. Every time. Look where they move that ball down field. I told y'all. 
he was going to um, try to roll with uh, McLaurin and leave Seals open. He had to hit me. Probably a touchdown or what. So I'm talking about man. We believe in Heineken. This first half is the kicks away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. I say stand back. Let's not be stupid here. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they really won't have much time to work with. Just 19 seconds showing on the clock. Let's go. In trouble here, Let's go. He goes. Now Let's the go. Let's go. Call another timeout. Their second. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. To try again after the sack. Murray. Oh, oh shoot. It's Kirk. Come on, y'all. Hey, we're still going to get a timeout. Hey. 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 I didn't say the PSD. I just killed uh, going to different ones. So each person, you told my life for each uh, graphic. I didn't do that. But I did, I did do all the color. Gaming and stuff. What does that mean? Did all the but make sure, make sure it shows up on French. They trail here as we resume right, that's the issue. In the third okay, quarter. Great. But the problem is, like, I'm looking for that. No run back here from the more. It's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25. So, I need the, the full picture so I can crop it properly. Correct. Right. For the 5x7 they want. And then No, no, I didn't. I ain't say all the PSDs. Yeah. I got some of them, maybe. But just test me the ones you need. I'm going to see what I can do. I don't know. Okay. Crap. Um, I'm sorry. I really, I, yeah, actually. Well, all right. I will go through them all and take a look and let you know. I did have trouble finding one. Um, Adrian Miller. He's in uh, 9U. He's in 9U. Uh-huh. Could just take the ring of drop. Huh? Yes, I could just take the ring of drop. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do Adrian something about it. And that certainly makes it Ace, such Ace. an important drive for them because Ace? they're going to win yeah. the game. No, That's but you have is. to do something to bring some life to your sideline. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. After the major focus okay. at halftime being um, to be figured right, out how to create some space for the run so game to get what I've got is one, you pointed out to me at half four, seems five, accurate. That line six, has struggled six, to sustain six, blocks. Yeah, I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I, I went through and that's all I saw. On their double teams at the first okay. level. Perfect. Make sure that block's secure right, before me they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. He cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot third and long to throw is Murray and the throw there going to be incomplete as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away and how about this fourth and long and they're going to go for it they're going for it. It's Murray. Oh, the Good job. That's all you want. Hopkins. And Good unable job. to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a real head That's scratcher there. Yeah. And Washington will take exactly. control. Exactly. I'm in the right way. Great field yeah. position. Exactly. 
Heineke now looking to throw on first. <laughs> Logan was open. Hey, Logan put a move on that dude. So nasty. Chandler Jones showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Oh, he did move on him so nice. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Heineke being chased out left. And he'll just get rid of it. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield yeah, to protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. And now here's the timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so two remaining yeah, as they burn one here in this third quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working out of the gun. Here's Heineke. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there. Is that down and incomplete? It's only a good starting four position on that drive. We couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Uh, oh, no. The left upright, <laughs> and it comes back. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn yes. upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Throwing quickly. This is caught by Kirk. Three yards the game there. Second down. Murray now to throw. Steps away to his left. He'll go out to the flat for Edmonds. He should be able to make it. Three last play this time. They double it and pick up six. Open man is Kirk complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And one more time, here's Kirk. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now Murray off play action. They'll roll him out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Montez Sweat in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Here's Murray. Flush to his right. Man, you should pick that up. They can pass. They haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. Murray and company going for it on fourth. <laughs> Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. Let's go. The 20. Go sir. So so swag, baby. Wait, baby. Let's go. Go ahead and quit. I mean, he scored that first touchdown. I figure out all what he was trying to do. I figured it all out. Figure it all out. But anyway, thank y'all for joining me for my first time back. I felt good out there and I feel like I handled my business. You know, if y'all wanna challenge me, you let me know. Need to leave a name in the comment. Play each other. I gotta get back. I, I can tell I'm a little rusty, but you know. A little rusty. A little rusty. Here, cute logo.